Hi, I'm Melissa Sanchez. Welcome to Cropped, VirtueRadioNetwork.com's free on-demand scrapbooking show. This week we're doing a special layout. This particular layout is for my friend, Leanne, who was recently diagnosed with breast cancer, recently had her surgery, and is now going through chemo. Breast cancer affects thousands of women every year, and more and more it just becomes it's like an epidemic. Women are getting breast cancer younger and younger. I'm sure all of us know somebody who has either had breast cancer, going through breast cancer treatment, or has been recently diagnosed. Um, my personal background, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer about 15 years ago. Luckily she's fine. She's had no, um, you know, free and clear of cancer. But it's a very difficult subject. Um, it affects the family, the loved ones, the kids, everybody. So um, one of the ways we can help support those people is by giving them something pretty during that time, offering that support. So I made this page for my friend to sort of document her journey through, through this process. So before we get working on page two of the layout, I'm going to give you a quick tour of page one. And this is a simple template. It's the same template I used for the baby boy layout months ago. And it's also the same template I used for the Halloween layouts, which are on a slideshow. They're not on a video. So if you look those up, you'll see it's the same template. And basically what it is, is two pieces of cardstock, one trimmed smaller than the other. And I used a decorative edge along all four sides. And then I punched out the corners, laid the one piece on top of each other, took one six by 12 piece of patterned paper, ripped it, mounted it on top, and then cut a circle. Literally, I used a paper plate from my son's birthday party that I grabbed out of my cabinet. So <laughs> I just traced it and cut it. And then I just embellished it with flowers, added some ribbon, added the frame and the title, and this really cool retro lady that I found from one of our journal pads. And I stamped. I stamped with some uh, pearlescent ink. So let's get working on page two. I've sort of laid out what I want to do on page two. Here you can see I cut, I've already cut the, trimmed two of the sides. I'm going to finish cutting the other ones. And I used, I stamped these images from our stamp set that matches the pattern paper. And I'm going to just kind of lay this out roughly and then we're going to build the page. Okay, so it's going to be something like that. So first you'll need to trim off, it's about a quarter inch. On, e on all four sides. I'm using a decorative blade. It's a wavy blade. So you want to do this on all four sides of the paper. So all four sides have that nice decorative edge. We're going to punch all four corners. And what I did was took this punch and just slide it in there. I always look from the back to make sure it's lining up correctly. I'm going to just ink the edges of this cream paper with this little dewdrop ink pad. It's, I'm using the pink pearl orchard. Now you just mount the darker pink cardstock right onto this cream paper. I made a little pink ribbon. I know this looks hard. It, it was totally not hard. I literally took a piece of paper. I just drew, you know, a ribbon and then added the dimension and then I just cut around it. Now I just want to ink the edges again. I'm using my little dewdrop ink pad just to give it a little bit of definition. You can see that I cut this. It's because I wanted to be able to ink this part of it. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this little strip off so I can do the same thing with the ink. Now I can get that ribbon fold and then I'll just glue it back on the layout. So I'm just figuring out now where to put this and I've going to reattach my ribbon. There we go. Now you have just one big ribbon on top of the background paper on top of the cream paper. The other thing I did was I took pieces of felt. I also took the pattern paper. And I ran them to, through a die cut machine. We got our cheapy flower from the Dollar Tree. Again, you pluck them apart and then I just layered it with some felt flowers, little felt piece here, little pattern paper here. I put a um, decorative brad through the center. So for this layout, I didn't want to use as many flowers. Instead of using a brad, I think I'm just going to mount this little little saying that says, hope, courage, smile, believe, support, 
laugh, share, cry. I'm just going to ink it. I'm going to take my bodacious babe here and I'm going to have her here. And then I want to use some of these flowers. Again, I'm just layering the pattern paper with the different felt. You can see the different shapes that I had cut out from the die cut machine. I'm just layering them to get a different effect. You can do this with foam. You can do this with um, pattern paper. I love using the scraps. You know me and my scraps. I love using the scraps of pattern paper and running them through the die cut machine. And I'm just going to put two flowers down there on the bottom. And then the brassiere peeking out of the flower. The idea for the second page is, I told you we have a picture of my friend at her first chemo and she can shrink these pictures down but um, I've put these little put little ribbon through these charms that say strength. This one says courage. Now I want to put my ribbon, my pretty lace ribbon, and I just tape it right on the back. Don't use double sided tape because I find that then it sticks to the page protector. Next goes the organza ribbon. Um, this French ribbon comes like that and it has wire in it so you just bend it. We're going to build our little flower here. I'm going to use some of these sticky dots. If you touch the felt to the sticky dot it's not going to work so you just got to pull it off and then stick the felt to the actual item. For this I'm hoping this just I'll be able to mount it straight on there. I'm going to mount the title for this page down here. It says, a good friend is like a good bra. Uplifting, supportive, and close to your heart. I'm going to tuck in the little bra in here. And now I'm going to add the charms. These charms ideally should go right under the photo. So ideally they will be there. I'm just going to add a couple just as accents here. There are these cute little mother of pearl hearts. Now the only thing we have left to do is glue, oh my favorite part, glue rhinestones. So here's our final page. We have our our supportive sayings here with our little retro girl. Our phrase down there, our, our flowers, and our strength and our courage charms. And our little ribbon and some little mother of pearl hearts that sort of look like buttons. That's my gift to my friend, Leanne. And women, get your mammograms. Over 40, me, every year. Thank you for watching Cropped on VirtueRadioNetwork.com, your free on-demand scrapbooking show. Join us next time for another project.